Hello everyone. Let's study about wave fronts. Now it is defined as the locus of all points which are in same phase. That is, if we have a source of light and then if a ray if you draw surface connecting the points having same phase, then that surface is called as a wave front. So here the particles should be having same phase. Now phase means particles having same displacement and velocity. That's called as phase. To understand this, let's consider a wave. Let's draw a wave from here. Something of this kind. Let this be the origin. Let's mark few points. A point one here, and a point two here, point three, and a point four, a point five somewhere here, a point six, a point seven, point eight, point nine, and then point ten. So we marked ten points on the way. Now let's look at points 1 and 3. The points 1 and 3, they have the same displacement, they are same from the mean position, but they have different velocities. Now based on wave direction, if we assume that particle 3 is going up, particle 1 is coming down, which means even the particles 1 and 3 have same displacement, they have different velocities. Likewise, Consider particle 4 and particle 6. Even here, particles 4 and 6, they have same displacement but different direction velocity. So as seen here, when I say particles are in phase, it means they should have same displacement as well as same velocity. So in this case, particles 2 and 8, this and this are in same phase. Similarly, particles 5 and 10 are in same phase. Similarly, particle at origin and 6 are in same phase. So phase means particles having same displacement and same velocity. So based on that, we have three kinds of wave fronts. So the wave fronts are of three kinds. The first kind is called as a spherical wave front. The second type is called as cylindrical wave front and the third type is called as a plane wave front. So let's look at it one by one. As the name tells us, a spherical wave front means the locus of points which are in the same phase would be on a sphere or would be in form of a sphere. As shown in the diagram here, what is drawn here is a two dimensional representation of a spherical wave front, but think of three dimensions. To understand this, think of a point source somewhere here. Now, think of it as in three dimension. From this point source, if we go in any direction, imagine that we go up to one meter in all directions. So if you go one meter in all directions and if we connect the points, then those points would be on a sphere. That is called a spherical wave front. As seen in this diagram, we have a spherical wave front. That is, all the particles in the same phase would be on a sphere. Which means if a wave goes like this, suppose if this point is a crest. That is, on the first sphere, if it's a crust, then every point on this sphere will be a crust only. Similarly, if you think of this as one more crust, so even here, all the points will be in crest only. So, which means all the points will have been in crest only. We can think of an example of this to be a water surface. Suppose, if somebody drops a stone on a water surface, Imagine that a stone is dropped on water surface, then this stone creates disturbance. So, if you look at the top view of this, 
the wave goes in all direction the wave goes in all direction like this wave goes in all direction we join all these points for example this would be like a circle so in simple language spherical wave front means the locus of all these points which are in same phase would be in form of a sphere so the since the light or the wave is expanding it will keep on diverging so the vector the arrows drawn here indicates the direction of propagation of the energy or wave spherical wave front is seen when it's a point source an example would be like sun at close distance from the sun the next kind of wave front is called as a cylindrical wave front so here we can say these are locus of points which are in the same phase in the form of a cylinder now if the source is not a point source but an extended source like a tube light or a rectangular slit that is if you have example a source of light and if you have a small opening which is rectangular then what we get would be a cylindrical wave front so every point on the cylinder would be in the same phase for some other point somewhere here it will be again a coaxial cylinder so here what we get would be coaxial cylinders this is called as cylindrical wave front the source here is an extended source like a tube light the third kind of wave front is called as a plane wave front plane wave front doesn't have its own source but for large distances whether it's a point source or an extended source for large distance for large distances the spherical wave front or cylindrical wave front appear to be like a plane wave front for example think of the previous case where we had a spherical wave front i think of concentric spheres like this now for very far away distance that is for very far away distance each part appears like a plane surface the best example of this would be the earth surface now locally if we look at any region locally or if you go for example to a desert or say a seashore we find it to be flat that is the earth surface appears to be flat locally for a given small region for example somebody stands from here on the surface of the earth they find it to be flat but then we know that earth is spherical which means the earth radius is so huge that each small portion appears like a plane think of a circle if we look at circle then the circle has a bigger radius then what happens is each small part appears like a straight line so whenever circle has a very big radius then each small part appears like a straight line similarly we can think of plane wave front as an extension of spherical or cylindrical wave front but for very large distances that's called as plane wave front example of that would be just practical would be the sun rays from the sun even though sun is treated like a point object the distance between sun and the earth is around 150 million kilometer that's a very very large distance for this large distance since the distance is so large that we can treat the spherical wave front to be like a plane wave front a plane wave front is shown as given here we have planes or parallel planes which means every point on this will be in the same phase similarly every point on this will be the same phase is a called as plane wave front and the arrows indicate the direction of propagation of the wave or energy